Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you some real world uses for the Quackock GN30H multi-port hub. Now, it's got on it three USB 3.0s, one HDMI, a USB-C pass-through, a gigabit ethernet, a TF card reader, and a micro SD card reader. It connects through USB-C. So I'm just going to put that aside for now. So we're in a company meeting, you know, I'm at the hotel, I'm done working for the day. There's a few things I need to work on. I don't like to use the mouse pad though. So I'm going to go ahead, I brought my mouse, the Patriot Viper V570. I'm going to go ahead and connect it right over here to the first USB 3.0 slot. Okay, and well, since it is a Word document I need to work on, I don't really like working on this keyboard. So I also brought with me my full size keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. right over here. Alright, so I have all both of those connected. Now the problem is I also need to work to work on a work document, a Word document, and it is on my Western Digital external hard drive. So well I'm gonna go ahead and plug that guy oh wait a minute. I don't have any more USB slots. Well, this is where this guy comes into play. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the, U to the USB-C connection. And if you can see right over here, you might catch some blue light there. Just, just to let you know that it is on. And then there's that blue light right over here. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my hard drive. So look carefully over here, and it's, oh, I plugged in the other piece of the keyboard, sorry guys, I don't really need that one. Let me plug in the hard drive, the cable from the hard drive itself, you can see that right here, this cable, okay. Plug it in right over here. Okay, and move this keyboard out of the way. All right, in a sec, you're gonna see the Easy Share, and you'll see that processing right over here. The Easy Share icon will pop up right over here. That's the reason why I left the. Uh, there we go. The uh, File Explorer up so that you guys can see that. So, you know, and there's actually something on my thumb drive I need as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug that in as well. First time. All right, and you saw that quickly pop up on the screen. So, cool, that is working there. And just to show you, this is the thumb drive. Just have a when I was flashing my EVGA Z270 FTW keyboard, the bias is on there, and then this is the Easy Store, the Western Digital hard drive. Okay, so and I've been working for hours. Now I want to watch a movie. I brought my <laughs> external Blu-ray reader, or my external DVD reader, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and plug her in. And 
let me turn her on. Okay, and I have the movie in there already, but I'll take it out for a sec so I can show you what it is. Assassin's Creed. I haven't seen it yet. So now that after work, I've done all my work, I want to relax. Let's watch a flick. We can see the drive just picked up over here. As soon as it loads, we'll see it pop up. I'm going to go ahead and move the mouse, put it over here. Okay. So we can see that popped up over here. Just going to go ahead and play it in Media Player Classic. Open DVD. Okay, we are on the DVD and let's go for it. Alright, so now, and actually, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and transfer some data from my uh, from my drive. Okay, and it's playing the movie. Okay, and well, there's actually I took a bunch of pictures while I've been out here, and they're on my two SD cards. Okay, I have a full. SD card and then another one but the micro SD card is right here so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and minimize this movie and I'll minimize this as well and now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the first media reader or actually I needed to bring that up. Whoops. Okay, so let's see, did that pop up yet? It did. Okay, so you can see here, came up as that USB D drive. And what I'll do just to show you that that is the drive, I'll disconnect it. Oh, that wasn't the drive. Sorry, I thought it was. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. So you see the space went away. So now I'm going to plug it back in. You'll see that pop back up. There we go. Okay. So now I can see that. And now the micro SD card, I'll plug that in as well. Now we should see it. Fill. Oh, yeah, just popped up. So now we have both the SD, the micro SD, the external uh, hard drive, the thumb drive, the Blu-ray reader or DVD reader, all powered off of the laptop. All right guys, so that's about it for now. I'm gonna show you a few more use case scenarios for it, but uh, you know, I've already shown you utilizing all three of the USB 3.0 ports, both of the SD, both the, the SD, the TF card reader, and the micro SD. You know, transferring data, watching movies all at the same time. And, you know, it, everything's working just fine. But anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you real world scenarios of the Quackock GN30H multi port reader. Iggy with Dragon Blogger up. See you guys.